What is the first thing people see that makes them decide to watch your videos? I will give you five seconds to write the answer down in the comment section. If you said thumbnail, you are correct. In this video, I'm going to be showing you guys how to create different types of thumbnail for free and very easy, very quick, very fast, just like that. So. If you're interested, keep watching. Hey friends, welcome back to my channel. It's Queen Karen, your favorite video editor who teaches you how to up your editing game from beginner to pro. And we have started our content creation, what would I call it? Challenge? Because today is Wednesday, and the next day I'm gonna be seeing me is Friday, then the next Wednesday, then the next Friday, then the next Wednesday, till the end of January. I'm gonna be teaching you guys how to create content, how to edit your content, how to make your YouTube channel, you know, the winning channel for 2025. So if you're ready to up your editing game, if you're ready to up your content creation, if you're ready to be a full-time content creator, you want to make money from content creation, you want to be an influencer, you want to edit cool content for people, for yourself, then welcome to my channel. Yeah. And I'm doing this with just swan lights you can it's, it's obvious like i'm not using any like there's currently no lights whatsoever but i gotta create my content you know what i'm saying so in this video we're going straight into it i'm going to be showing you guys how to create different kinds of thumbnail all those cool thumbnails that you see on youtube i'm gonna be showing you guys how to do it because i'm tired of all these very weird looking thumbnails on youtube your thumbnail can make someone watch your video even if the video looks like scrap once they see the thumbnail, they'll want to click on it. And that click makes a lot of difference on YouTube. Okay? So let's just go straight into editing. So first off, let me show you guys how to remove the background from your pictures when you want to create your thumbnail. So you know those stickers like CapCut or Canva icon or even your picture, you want to remove the background. So I can use a totally different background while you know creating your thumbnail so let me show you guys how to do this for free using CapCut. So click on the expand and you can see remove background just click on that and then you can remove the background of absolutely any picture you want to use in your thumbnail so i want to use this picture i'm going to be removing the background and it does it automatically and so fast as you can see it has automatically removed the picture from the background all you have to do is just click on export and you have your picture can you see that so we're going to do the same thing for the CapCut and the canva icons and the youtube whatever icon that you want to add to your thumbnail because you know you have to select your pictures and whatever icons you want to be in your thumbnail so yeah i'm going to be removing the background of those two Now let's, go now let's go straight into editing i'm going to be showing you guys how to create a thumbnail using cap cuts so, so when creating a thumbnail on cap cut the first thing you want to import is the background that you're going to use most times it is advisable that you change the background just to make your thumbnail more appealing so here we have the picture that i want to use as my background now the next thing we want to do is change the aspect ratio to the youtube aspect ratio and zoom this in Make sure you don't use it as original. Change it to the YouTube, okay? Or else you have to do some copying and it might not it's not fit as a thumbnail. Do you get? So yeah. Next thing we want to do is bring in the pictures that we want to use for the thumbnail as overlay. So click on overlay and add all your pictures. So they usually add one at a time. So let's just do it one at a time anyway. So add your picture. You can put it to the side, whatever you want to do. I think I'm gonna put my other side. This is fine by me. Now I'm going to make this picture sharp and clear because when you remove the background, most times it reduces the quality. So we're just going to make it sharper. Yeah, there we go. Next thing we want to do is actually to add blur to the background, like blur the background out. So you select the background, click on effects, video effect, and search for the word blur and select the blur effects. Cancel. So we're going to delete this one down here, this blur effect down here. Yeah, as you can see, it has been added to only the background. And as well, tap on it, go to the effect again, and adjust the blur background. Let's not be too much. Yep. That's pretty much okay. Yep. Now, the next thing you want to add is text. Click on your text. Let's say you want to do thumbnail tutorial. We're going to tap thumbnail tutorial. So, we're going to do it separately. 
change font then we're going to add background to it change the text to black there we go then we're going to add text again we're going to add tutorial bring that down but change the background to something else yeah just to make it catchy now as you can see the background which is the yellow and white is too big so what we want to do is go back to that same background and you see this height we're going to reduce it with to reduce it i, I like the corners yeah so we're going to do the same thing to this background reduce the height reduce the weight reduce the corner yeah i'm just gonna push that up you see thumbnail tutorial now what we are, want to add next is an overlay of our icons cap cut right here add this right here so now we have added our cap cut and canva because this is what i'm teaching and then we can just play around with it you know i'm gonna tilt it and i love it very eye catching do you see and this is how you have made yourself your thumbnail on CapCut. So all you have to do is just export. And there you go. Now let's move to Canva. Let me show you guys how to use Canva to create your thumbnail. We're going to be creating a totally different thumbnail on Canva. So we want to click on the YouTube thumbnail. And then we want to change the background to the one that we want to use by clicking on replace, upload, and then select the background that you want to use. And to automatically come in so now we're going to reduce the opacity of this by simply going to effects go to blur the whole image increase intensity can you see that yeah this is okay now we're going to go to the same upload and bring in the picture that we want to use for our thumbnail we're going to increase this in size yep and now like i said we're gonna just make this sharp because when we remove the background the sharpness of the quality kind of reduces so we're gonna sharpen that and now we're gonna add text let's just use thumbnail for this one now as well i've added the text increase first let's pick the font because i don't really like the font so let's just use this okay now select that go to effects and pick whichever one you want from here from any of these effects so let's use shadow now we're going to increase the size of the word and now we're going to take this word right we're going to put it behind the picture simply select go to layers push down and drag it to be under the picture as simple as that now your word is behind your image now you can just reduce this a little bit so people can see what's written behind you so now we're going to add the cap cut and canva to it cap cut you can put it here reduce that and then put canva as simple as that doesn't that look gorgeous it looks amazing guys it looks amazing and all you have to do is just save it and that's how to create your thumbnail on canva as simple as that i'm gonna see you guys in my next tour don't worry they're gonna be detailed courses physical classes and online classes i'm gonna be giving you guys going deeper and deeper into all this content creation so stay tuned I hope you guys found this video very helpful. See you guys on Friday for the next content I'm going to be dropping on how to up your editing game and your content creation journey because this is just the start. This is, this, this is just the start, okay? You don't want to miss any day in the month of January. If you miss it, don't call my name. Yeah, don't call my name. Yeah. So guys, I'm going to see you guys in my next one. Comment down below what you want me to teach you next because I might just change my mind. I'm like, you know what? I'm not going to follow my calendar again. This girl, this guy asked me to teach them this. I'm going to do that for my next content. So drop a comment down below and I'll see you guys in my next one. Oh, don't forget to tell your friends 
to tell their friends, to tell their friends that someone is teaching them how to edit and create content for free on YouTube. It's Queen Karen. Bye.